Imaging. Right. So, uh, computational photography and uh, HDR imaging is sort of getting quite a lot of traction now. We uh, these HDR video formats are coming up. Uh, Google and Apple are mm-hmm. sort of uh, trying to get the best cameras with the best sort of software for this. So, what's your take on? The yeah, so right uh, the actually the research on HDR was like kind of bit of um, the like kind of uh, not so much like kind of uh, till hmm. the deep learning era started again. So then hmm. I completed my thesis around 2010-11 times. Hmm. Also, there were not many publications on HDR in the top conferences, only hmm. few. Hmm. But later on, with the deep learning and the GANs uh, chipping in, so hmm. there were uh, you can also synthesize new images through deep networks. So that right. confidence people got. Right. There were some initial works and then now if you see all those works which are like generating the HDR from a single LDR also, hmm. all of them are deep learning based. So right. people have started doing that. Then the companies also like the mobile cameras also were just hmm. used to capture images and they hmm. didn't have that much processing power to hmm, 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 like hmm. Uh, synthesize uh, or g- generate better versions of the same image. Right. And now people oh, have like enough, yeah, so with the evolution of the mobile sensors and the hmm. mobile uh, processors which hmm. are very powerful people hmm. have started uh, taking multi exposures with a single click and then yeah. combining on the fly to generate a sort yeah. of HDR image even those images which are HDR the Google Pixel and the Apple mm-hmm. Smart mm-hmm. HDR for an example right. they are I think they are tone map HDR images only because right. the final images are displayed on your cell phone it has to be devices, tone yeah. right. so but are they using sort of classical algorithms with sort of flow for uh, motion approximation and things like that or is it uh, or are they using sort of deep learning based uh, I, I think like it is mostly deep learning based because they train right. the model at their end and mm-hmm. then like the trained model they use it uh, in, in the cloud or on the mm-hmm. mobile devices to on the fly generate HDR content right. actually. So what's the problem with the classical sort of approaches other than the fact that uh, sort of motion approximation is not that So accurate. classical approaches if there is a region which is oversaturated or undersaturated it tries to fill it from only the set of images actually. Okay. But the deep learning approaches it learns through multiple underexposed images how they have been filled. Right. You can hallucinate. So it can, yeah, it can hallucinate and bring in details which are not present in those set of few multi-exposure images only. Right, right. So that has enabled these kind of uh, manufacturers to go to the with hmm. the confidence to the consumer saying that any kind of overexposure and underexposure we can hmm. take care using exactly. our HDR solutions. Right, and that's probably something uh, that they have in the low light sort of images. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I believe that the cameras today they have sort of uh, exceeded the human visual system. I mean, they're far better now. So is does Not the point really, but because the sensors as such, if you see the right. uh, dynamic range of the sensor element itself, yeah. it's not that high. Five stops for a normal camera and I think Five 12 stops, stops. And if you measure in dB, for an example, it's 80, 90 dB, for an example. Right. Human vision has some 140, 130, 140 dB, so right. which is quite high. Right. Like kind of, uh, so we have not reached that, but due right. to this, with the software with, sort of with, uh, enabled, yeah, yeah, with algorithms enabling at the back end, we are right. trying to mimic the human vision actually. Right. So, uh, how far does this go? I mean, does the point come where we have sort of we have everything because we have low light, we have autofocus, we have telephoto. Yeah. Uh, so what I we envisage from the beginning also the HDR image when we create uh, like a HDR image, so it enables all other applications like kind of a visual tracking. Hmm or any object detection and everything, right? So the data itself is very clean, like a HDR image, which Mm -hmm. is both in brightly and poorly lit regions, which has very high contrast. Mm -hmm. So that enables all the other algorithms to function better, actually. So now Mm -hmm. people would uh, start capturing with the HDR mode enabled in their cameras, whether it's Pixel or uh, iPhones and other uh, other cameras. And the performance uh, of the other algorithms also will... Right. For example, for robots doing image classification or something like that. So the better the image, the better the classification. Yeah. So the more data sets will come with more cleaner images. And Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. most of the consumers also will take cleaner images due to these methods actually. So that would enable. But even now the data sets have not so clean image because still the people are not using the HDR mode. Most of the people mm-hmm, mm-hmm. use like normal Most people don't know what is the HDR, HDR mode. And even yeah. I thought it was high definition or something. High definition, yeah. So right, right. they don't know the difference between the range resolution and the spatial resolution. So spatial resolution we have achieved like very good. Like hmm. even 16 megapixel, 12 megapixel right. you get in your common cell phones also. Right, right. But the range resolution now the... Right. So this range, uh, is it because of the 
a memory of the sensor of how much sort of the range it can accommodate it is due to the sensor element yeah each sensor okay. element whether the how what is the well capacity of each of the right. sensor so is element. that also likely to improve with it, it is getting improved like kind of i have been reading following those literature from the microelectronics groups like so hmm. they are trying to use something like organic cmos to improve hmm. the well capacity Indeed. but still they are at the research end and the um they have not been like commercialized but panasonic was trying to do something but right. i don't know about the other companies whether they are working at the sensor level itself right, to improve right. the range of or or improving on the, the software on the software okay. yeah the software is the easy way forward because they right. like enough kind of, unless it is like benchmark properly the sensor we can mm-hmm. use with any traditional sensor which is low cost and then augment it hmm. with the with software, the software right. Right.